wake up Jacob this is the Israelite prepper just want to come back with a little bit more information and you know I want to keep it all prepping so I do like precious metal and I kind of keep my eye on it from time to time just to keep abreast of what's going on in the metals market so let me give you this little article here I was just looking at um, and it says silver price forecast silver markets rally again on Wednesday so let's take a look at what it says here let's get into the article it says silver markets rallied a bit during the trading session after initially falling on Wednesday slicing through the 200 day EMA in fact we even got above the 15.25 so $15.25 level during the height the market is reacting to the pre-release statement by Jerome Powell for his testimony in front of Congress it looks as if the Federal Reserve is more than willing to cut interest rates and if there's going to be the and if this is going to be the case it should continue to drive precious metals higher um, now if they cut interest rate like if someone is um, dovish they they want the interest rate to be cut because it would stimulate spending spending and then uh, you know move the economy that way so it could affect precious metals in a positive way uh, continuing it said this doesn't mean that you should jump all in at this point but it certainly looks as if it will use the $15 level underneath the massive floor okay so they believe that um, on the bottom side the bottom side of silver will be about $15 it, it won't well technically um, it shouldn't go below uh, $15 mark or not much below that so I think that the market will eventually try to go to the 1550 level, but breaking above there might take a bit of a momentum building. You can see that we did give back some of the gains almost immediately, but this is a strong sign. And of course, we have a technical level underneath at the $15 level. So that's what I was saying earlier. Uh, of course, offering reason enough to go long. So hold it for the long term. The 50 day EMA. Uh, the round figure and of course the gap all figure into the idea of bias buyers okay breaking up ab breaking above the fifteen dollars and fifty cent level opens the door to sixteen dollar level given enough time I agree with that so at this point it's very likely that if you are a longer term trader I am you can hold on until we get there that means that doesn't mean that it's going to be easy and it certainly will be volatile but that's nothing new for silver. If we were to break down below the 1490 level, then we could break down from that point. So we we're hoping it doesn't do that. But however, the the currently doesn't look as likely. So it doesn't look like it's gonna go below the you know 1490. And, and it doesn't for a while. It's been really good if you look at the um the charts. It's been pretty good. It's been holding pretty steady, really. Um, hovering between um, um, long term hovering between 14 15 dollars something like that and it's around the 15 what are the silver prices right now at the moment silver looks to be let me go to my silver prices about 15 dollars and 14 cent I last the last time I checked about 15 dollars 14 cent there uh, let's see what we have here okay so nothing there I don't see it there, but I have to go to one of these places here. Where... Let's go over here. How about this? Right now, guys, um, silver is at 1531. 1531. So there you go. 1530. Silver is 1531 today or the day of this uh, post here. So just want to give you guys an um, idea. A little bit of information on silver. I think silver is a pretty good play. Um, but again, you do your own due diligence, do your own study. Um, and when I'm talking about silver, I'm not talking about contracts. I'm talking about actual physical silver. Get your hands on physical silver. So it's physically in your hand. So when I'm talking silver, I'm talking about actual, tangible, precious metal. So I think silver is a pretty good play. Gold right now is about 1412 yeah about fourteen hundred twelve one thousand four hundred twelve dollars for an ounce of gold and silver is about fifteen dollars so they're still in line it's still it's still in line um 
and it has been for a while. This has been for quite some time. So anyway, those are my thoughts on some silver. Give me your thoughts below. Uh, a lot of people are like, hey, you know, why do we need precious metals? And, you know, hey, if you're of the prepping mindset and you're trying to break free, then the reason you want to do it is if you have, say, an economic collapse. And then people say, well, you know, you can't eat silver, you can't eat gold. OK, but we're talking about bartering. OK, we're talking about bartering and, it's, and silver and gold is it's an exchange of value. OK, so it's easier for me to instead of carrying a cow or a goat over to you, I can bring a, a couple of ounces of silver and I can trade it that way. Or if if you have to have some sort of three way trade, you know, um, bartering with somebody who has something that I need, but I don't have something that they need, but I know another person that has something that they may need, we can we can make the exchange that way, you know. So it's just it's just a bartering system. It goes back to God's money, okay? So we're talking about silver and gold, there's never been a time where it wasn't worth something. It's something it just it didn't go to zero. Unlike currencies okay all currencies throughout history eventually go to its true value which is zero and the dollar can do it as well and we pay attention uh to our history 1973 when we get went off the gold standard you guys all heard of the term gold standard when we went off the gold standard which means our a dollar is not pegged to gold anymore then it became fiat, meaning there's nothing backing it up. There's nothing backing it up, nothing backing our dollar. Right now, it is the petrodollar, but that's the only reason why it is still going as it is right now. So we're talking silver, we're talking gold, we're talking precious metals and stuff because it could be something that you and I might need in the future. So all you're doing is exchanging your fiat currency to actual money and precious metals that's god's money so give me your thoughts down below i will talk to you guys on the next video because this one is over